What's up guys, welcome back to Road to Dark Matter series. Today, we're gonna be getting the ZRG Gold. Uh, I finally got it to level 50. I leveled it up a bit on stream, but even getting it near this level, I got almost every camo done for it. I was at level 40 and I had everything done. I've just been slaying with this thing. I know in the last video I said I'd go through and do more camo stuff with it, or I'd show you guys me unlocking more camos with it, but I was having way too much fun with this thing. I have some clips on my Twitter, my Instagram of me just going crazy with it. I've saved arguably some of the most challenging, but the most fun camos for last. We have we have all the psychedelic camos to do here. We need 25 double kills and it, sh it should be a tough one. At the end of my last zombie, video uh, for not getting banned as a reward. I bought myself a bundle which had a tiny hawk which is a little cute tomahawk which I love. So we'll be having that on with us. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is the build I'm using. I have gunfighter on, so I have the extra attachments, but stabilizer 20 for my muzzle, the rapid fire barrel, steady aim laser just for hip fires, the bruiser grip to help with my speed, the five round mag. I really don't think you need more than that. The serpent wrap and the CQB pad. Uh, I don't have an optic on this. You can put on whatever optic you want, but I always for snipers, I like to just use the default optic because I just get used to it. But uh, I also have flak jacket and scavenger and ninja. I've been switching between flak jacket and tack mask based on you know what people are running in the game tomahawk stim shot field mic you know all the all the normal stuff along with a sledgehammer and i know in the last video i said we'd be playing some different maps to add a little more variety but i, I really think newtown is our best bet for double kills and we gotta get 25 of them so i'm gonna play on nuketown so let's go ahead and hop into it all right, so this gun has grown on me a lot i hated it at first but now that i've gotten used to it and i got like the timings down and everything this thing kind of slays. I think that's a double kill. That's two on the feed, so that should be a double. I just need one more person to peek. Oh, I could have had that. But we started off instant double kill. Uh, the spots I found that are great for this is right here, obviously. Long shots down the side of green. You can get into garage. What are you doing in here? You need to leave. All right, uh, but we switched spawns, so obviously the reverse works as well. But I also really like this spot here on the sign. You can get easy peeks here. You can kind of reach out if no one's peeking long here and get people in garage. You can also watch down middle between the buses. I've been having a lot of success in this spot. Oh, that was bad. I just took a lot of damage there. Nope. Is that a double kill? If not, this is. Yeah, we're kind of racking up doubles here. But once once you get the hang of this gun, it is so fun. This thing hits so hard. It's an insta-kill basically anywhere. I've gotten some hit markers with it, but they're not very common. People just drop the second you hit them with this. And I know there's like builds and stuff you can do where you will kill, like shooting people even in like the legs. But I don't know. It makes it kind of unplayable almost, or at least a little harder to use. So I like to use this build. Oh, fuck. Peek the door. Oh, shit. I don't know. I've been having a lot of fun with this build. There's probably better ones, but this is just the one I'm used to. So I'm sticking with it. There we go. Already our first psychedelic camo done. Oh, the bolt back speed screwed us there. Oh, come on, dude. Peek us. There we go. That should be a double. Oh, that could have been a double. I didn't choke that shot. But anyways, we've still been plagued by the zombies bug. I've been staying away from zombies to try not to get banned, but we played a little bit the other day. I didn't have too much to do for the Sigma, so I hopped on there, played a few quick rounds to get it done. I think for the most part, it might be fixed, but it's unconfirmed. Uh, they've been pretty silent about the bug, not even acknowledging that it exists, but you know, I, I've been seeing people getting banned just for playing zombies. Oh, easy collat. Easiest double kill of my life. But back to what I was saying, I, I've seen a lot of people just get banned playing zombies for no reason. I don't even know if there's like mods or hacks or exploits you can do to even get you banned. So it was really weird that was happening in the first place and just, you know, made me scared to play zombies at all. But from what I'm hearing, it might be safe to play again. So you might see some Road to Dark Aether here soon. Oh, that's a teammate. That is not though. Okay, I'll take an easy tomahawk kill. I'll sit here and reload too while I'm at it. But, you know, just this little break from zombies has made me miss it so much. 
as much as I like Cold War multiplayer, without guns to grind, since I have like everything gold, everything maxed out, it's not as fun. You know, this the ZRG has has breathed a little bit of life into it, but Cold War is just really dry. You know, I, I think tomorrow I'll I'll hop back on zombies, see what's going on for that. But man, see, season three cannot come fast enough. And also in our, our last Road to Dark Matter video, I was talking about my season three wish list on what I wanted to see in season three. There's, there's one thing I completely forgot to put in there and that's the ballistic knife. That thing needs to be in this game like last year. I don't know how we're having a black ops without the ballistic knife, but we need it like now. I think I'm forgetting something else, but I'm, I'm <laughs> if I remember it, I'm sure I'll, I'll mention it in another video. But for sure, the ballistic knife would be real fun to see. Also, uh, more of the Warzone map has been leaked. Some of the, the old multiplayer maps that they're adding onto the Warzone map is Summit. So we're going to see Summit return here. So we're going to see a return of Summit onto Call of Duty. I'm not sure if they're going to make it into a multiplayer map or not. It would be sweet if they did. But I'm not getting my hopes up. Ooh, easy double. But besides that, I don't know too much that's going on with COD. Oh, actually, the, you know, the, the rumored pistols in the, the CX-9, I think it's like the, the Skylov pistols are supposed to be coming to Modern Warfare sometime. I don't know when. We, we saw them in Warzone about like two months ago at this point where they were popping up as like ground loot, loot that you can find in boxes and stuff. Or at least the CX-9. And then we've seen uh, videos of people using uh what's it called of people using those pistols in uh the pve modes of modern warfare there's there's no date on those but whenever those come out i think we're gonna head back to modern warfare and go get those gold because we can't be running around with those in in war zone and not have them gold oh we're going in oh we gotta reload though don't shoot me no he shot me and I think, you know, once we start running out of st like stuff to do in Cold War multiplayer, since there's no guns to get done, I mean, we're still going to do our challenge series and we'll still attempt a nuke at some point. I feel like I can't go for long streaks while thinking about it. It just kind of happens passively. Like I've gone on longer streaks with this thing than I did in the whole like hour and a half of r recording trying to go for a nuke. I feel like I'm cursed. And I, I'm not going to be able to get it done while trying to do it. And, you know, it might just happen passively. You might see one in a video, maybe even this video. What if I got to nuke this video? I don't know. I, I'm still going to attempt it. I'll do it and I'll try to attempt it until, you know, Cold War's lifespan is over. Oh, there's another camo. So, you know, we're working on it. But what I wanted to say is since, you know, multiplayer is kind of drying up here with no new content until season three, we might hop back on uh, Modern Warfare and try to get some of the guns that we use in Warzone Obsidian. Like I'm thinking I'm working on the, the Car 98 and <laughs> actually I, maybe just the Car 98. I don't know any other Modern Warfare guns I use in Warzone. Maybe the AK. I think I was working on the AK for a little bit before I kind of got bored of just grinding on modern warfare so we'll see if you guys want to see me go for obsidian let me know because i i know how like insane <laughs> that drove uh jev so i don't know if you guys really want to see that if there's a demand for it i'll do it but on another note uh i finished or right before i started recording this video uh i finished recording all the the voiceover for the cold war launcher guide i'm trying to get back onto making guides uh it's been a bit so i'm a little rusty and i, I forgot how long it takes to record voiceover so i just got that done uh, i should be able to edit it all together and it be out by sometime this week barring like anything happening well, that was a good use of that war machine. That guide should be coming out soon. I want to start putting guides out again. So I feel like that was that was the main focal point of the channel at one point. And then I started doing uh, Road to Dark Matter and that to like fill out space in between guides. And then that kind of just took over the channel because of like the overwhelming support on it. But uh, let me know what kind of uh, guides you guys want to see. So I'm thinking I'm working on just camo specific ones, like ones for like flora, like for kills while detected and stunned and stuff. And then ones for ones for like kills behind cover, point blanks, you know, things of that nature. So let me know what you guys are interested in seeing and I'll try to work on those. But we did pretty, we went 47 and 40, but we got a lot of double kills. All right, we got two camos that game. Where's our medals? How many, how many double kills did we get? We did get a collat and we got eight double kill medals. That's really good for this gun. How close are we to the other ones? Not too far off. 
Wait, we have 11? Okay. We got eight medals, but 11 double kills. So I don't know how COD's tracking things. Oh, I guess it is two or more enemies. But if we get just two, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I'm not complaining. We got more than what we I figured we got. All right, let's go see if we can get first blood. Why, how did that guy get so lucky with that spawn? Oh, first blood collateral. Let's go. Easy double kill. This thing is a collateral machine. When I was streaming playing this or, or trying to level this up earlier, I got collaterals in like three back-to-back -back games. Oh, and we're going crazy with the tomahawk. But this gun is monstrous. If the fire rate was any faster, uh, this gun would be, just be obscene. So I guess it's all right that they made the fire rate so slow. Maybe a slight buff to it would make it a little more tolerable for, you know, people that don't like it. But... It's definitely way better than I, I, I gave it credit for. Hey, no one's peeking us. I think I need to put attack mask back on. I'm going to do that. Slackjack, like getting killed by nades and stuff is annoying, but I don't think it's nearly as annoying as getting like stunned or flashed and you're just standing there blind or can't move. What? How's that hit marker? Where is he? Oh, that's where he is. I thought he was a mannequin. That's not a double kill. That took too long. That is though. Same with that. Give me more. Oh, I missed it. Oh, he's using this mannequin as cover. There we go. Anyone nearby? Not looking like it. Oh, we're missing shots too. You can't be having that. That's another double kill though. These double kills, I honestly thought they're gonna be a lot harder, but we're kind of just cleaning them out. I wonder if triple kills count for two. Maybe that's why we had more. No, how did that miss? Oh, I felt like I was on point with that. No, now I'm choking these shots. These are easy shots that I'm missing. Oh, choking it again. There we go. Nice. Not nice. Yeah. For, to get double kills with this thing, you cannot miss your second shot. There's just too much time to bolt this thing back, but two clean shots, easy for double kills. I guess we'll be a little bit of a team player. We'll play on the point. There we go. There we go. That's a double. And that's another camo. Oh. Uh, anyone else want to peek the door? Oh, hit marker. Glad I saw his name tag. And that's another double. It's just so easy. You got, all you gotta do is pre-aim fight, like pre -aim these common spots. And then they just kind of walk into it. You just readjust a little bit. And these double kills just come like they're nothing. Unless you miss, like I am. But I'm starting to think with this thing's bullet velocity, it might just be hit scan. Because it kind of goes dummy. And now that I'm getting more attachments for it and everything, this has got to go stupid in war zone. What? Okay. Get quick scoped. Oh, almost got the clat there. That would have been crazy. Oh, hit marker. You hate to see it. Another one? There we go. Finally. No, I wanted to throw back the nade. I can't believe I missed that. I'm a disgrace. What? That tomahawk didn't hit either? Oh, man. I'm so like hot and cold with these. Like you guys see these crazy snaps. I'll hit like a quick, like four, maybe even five. Like I'll, I'll land every hit of my mag and then I'll just go die to something stupid. Like look at this. This is why I, I cannot go for nukes. So I play so recklessly. I really just need to go to like play style rehab. Go ahead, repeat it. I know you want to. They got nothing but score streaks coming in. Oh, this game's about to end. That's a double kill. 42 and 24, not bad. All right, another camo down. How many to go? Just two. We need six more double kills and we're done with this. We're flying through these. So hopefully we can get in the next game. I think we can get six double kills in one game. That doesn't seem too hard. All right, let's see if we can keep the trend going of us getting uh, the first blood. Looks like we got a good spawn for it. All we gotta do is sit here and wait. No, we missed it. That's the double kill we needed. Okay, this lobby's looking a little more difficult so far, but I think we just need to adjust. That's one. 
Oh man, they're rushing the shit out of our spawn. Jeez. These guys are playing up close and in your face. Just shotgun and dual pistol rushing. These guys are crazy. Dang, maybe we won't get our double kills this game. It was looking easy at first, but there's just street sweepers and these guys are running right in our faces. Unless we can play, unless we can get our quick flicks on these guys, it's gonna be difficult. Oh man, I unscoped at the wrong time, that COD timing. These guys are playing so aggressive. Spawns are flipping so fast. There we go. That's a double kill we need. And we got away. Barely staying alive. Is that another double kill? That was kind of a nice no scope. <gasps> that was almost a clat. I got a hit marker through that guy. There we go. That's another one. No, we're missing shots here. Tomahawk's not saving us either. Gotta focus up if I want to get it done this game. What? Oh, that definitely should have been one. That's one. I heard them feet. There we go. That's another double. We gotta be close. Unless that's it. That is it. Let's go. This last game was a struggle. SBMM is kicking our ass, but we got it done. That's another double kill just to... Add a little icing on top. Don't peek me. Now we're getting kills. Let's go. Easy six times. We got a fury. Nice. Let's go in with the war machine to end it. The spawns flip. Oh. Got me with the bow, but we got a harp. That counts for something. <gasps> that was almost a clat. Oh, the quick scope is disgusting. Now, this is what it looks like. Gold, diamond, and dark matter. It's pretty solid all around. I would say I wish it covered more of this, but then I don't want it all to be dark matter. I think that's good coverage. I think it's fine. Only this part is the blueprint that isn't being affected. But overall, it looks pretty cool. Now we have every gun in the game done again. So there's not much for us to do in multiplayer anymore. But anyways, that's going to do it for me today. Uh, if you like this and you want to see more, leave a like on it. Uh, if you didn't, you don't dislike. Uh, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We're on the road to 100K. Uh, the link to my merch store will be in the description below, as well as my Secret Lab affiliate link if you want to get one of these chairs. And that's going to do it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.